took a trip to Ollie's yesterday in Pennsylvania, and these are some of the books that I found in the book section. I had already been looking for a while. I mean, you could easily spend hours in this section, and I only have so much battery and so much of a memory card to tape everything, record everything. So, you know, I recorded a portion of it. There were a lot of crafters books. I know you've got a lot of crafters. I'm going to do a haul because I did get some very nice books and uh, crafting books as well, quilting. This was hip knitting. They had just a really nice selection and there's so much. Um, that was a coloring book and I did get some coloring books. I also got some stuff for giveaways and I'm going to share that all with you in a separate haul. Loom Magic I looked at, but that was mostly kid stuff. My daughter just started with a loom. I thought that might be okay for her. This was a quilted uh, farmer's quilting coloring book. Sorry that my arm is in the way there. And this was a book about what you could do with those foam sheets foam projects, a lot of them for kids, but I did think the one with the um, cans right there that you could do with tin cans was pretty nifty looking. And then there were wind socks. Those are good scout projects or kids projects. That was there. They had a, let's see, going down what was this one? Oh, knitting heirloom knitting skills they had a really nice um blanket in there they're not right there but you can't see oh. i do change the angle on the camera in a little but yeah and most of the books are under four dollars a lot of them are 2.99 there was this one, and I got this. I couldn't believe this. Little One Yard Wonders. It has all these projects plus all the patterns. Okay, and I believe it was two ninety nine, and the regular price, and I think it was like close to thirty dollars. But I'll show you that up close and personal. It's going in my cart. All right, and it, it was just a little, there was a lot of people in the aisles that I was in, and I was just, I had the GoPro, and I had it, like, balanced in my purse, and that's another one, um, the little One Yard Wonders. See all the patterns that are in there, and there's all kinds of projects. So if you're just starting out sewing like I am, you know, and even if you're not, I mean, there's a lot of great little, little projects in there with One Yard of Fabric. This was scroll saw clocks. For anybody that likes scroll sawing. Oh, these were interesting. Jeff would probably like these. This is a painting workshop. It actually gave you like a schedule that you could follow and to learn how to paint, painting techniques. It had some really nice paintings, as you can see went over a lot of things. I like that one right there. I like that. I might try to recreate that when I'm better. <laughs> but um, lots of just really color in the snow owl, so cute. Then they went into portraits and, and things like that. I thought you could see better here. Yeah, see the portraits. But um, that was a nice book. I think that was, that was like it was one of the little bit of a pricier book for there. I, I think it was six ninety nine, five maybe it was, but it's normally like thirty dollars. But I'm saying most of their stuff is like two ninety nine and under. With the craft book, sometimes three ninety nine and under. Let's see, I don't know if I showed the price up oh, too quick. Too quick. I should take my own advice. dreamy quilts. I like this book because this one had some nice throw pillows. I didn't get this one. I got another quilt one and I'll show it to you. 
I mentioned it last night. I think it has the quilt that Jessica Rosenfeld made, or one that's very, very close to it. You'll have to tell me, Jess. I don't know. I like the throw pillows. See those? I think maybe that would be something would be a first quilting project for me. Look at those. Those are so pretty. Look at the dog bed. Isn't that cute? Home repair books, ham radio, over a hundred things you can do with salt. Who knew? Uh, Fuller Brush Company, bath and kitchen tips, housekeeping tips. Make your own barbecue and outdoor kitchen. Texas. Mm, we're turning around. We're turning around. Look at this. This When I said there were so many things last night, I said that spoke to me and to our channel. This was one of them that came right at me and I'm telling you I've never seen so many if you want to call them signs or whatever that just came germophobia of course I got it of course I got it so I think it has a lot of neat things that we can discuss in in the chat and there's also something else I can't wait to show you it's you're not going to see it in this video but I cannot wait to show you we are definitely using it in the chat now this was um 500 I believe it's 501 ways to disarm an attacker without a weapon and I immediately thought of Foxybot another way that this shopping trip spoke to me so this book shows like 501 ways that you can disarm an attacker without a weapon but I did not see that Foxybot you know move in there but maybe I missed it Maybe I missed it. They have the boys' body book, which is kind of like the one for from American Girls for Girls, just about you know how they're changing relationships, things like that. They have that there. Apple cider vinegar drinks boot camp. Then they have uh, graphic novels and comic books and let's see what else here dang when I see this I forgot to go back and get one of these I really did want it just for the tin I was deciding on it at the time it was $3.99 it's a whole thing of dump cakes nothing I need a whole thing of dump cakes I liked the tin it was really retro kind of 60s looks like that old Formica that was in the 60s and I don't know I had put it down and said oh I'll think about it or something I, I don't know I'm trying to be a minimalist right yeah sure um but I forgot to go back and get it so well you know what they say if it's meant to be it's meant to be then I'll see it again if it's not then it wasn't meant to be bake the best they have a lot of cookbooks and baking books you can really go nuts in there checking camera I think there were a lot of people around me at this point air fryer cookbooks keto 100 best romance novels get smart save big at the pump oh they have those outdoor that the old Betty Crocker like reprints Cracker Barrel sells those for like full price you'll see the other one I remember when my mother had the other one when you see the inside I don't know why I'm, I'm like arranging their shelves oh I think these look good here that's good okay we'll leave those there spiralized and then I'm going to do some more arranging <laughs> taking stuff from the center table okay this is the entertaining with Betty yes this is one that Cracker Barrel has but it has the, it's the exact same cookbook maybe your mother had one of these that you remember with Betty's entertaining tips and everything about guests and all this stuff it's kind of fun to have I didn't get it but it is kind of a fun book and I've seen it here before and then it was away and they only had the outdoor cooking one and now it's back again. Here's one from India. This is a really nice book. Just the, the outside of it was really nice and um, inside, you know, lots of great things if you're looking into Indian cooking. Now we're moving backwards and oh, this was a Vitamix blending book. 
had some smoothies and stuff. So I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. But um, it was it was nice. And I like that smoothie. That smoothie was talking to me yesterday. Okay. All right, now that was the Backcountry Cookbook. Reminded me of that uh, movie Backcountry. So that was not a good thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm reaching over there. Let me do some more rearranging. I think this is when the lady in front of me wouldn't like get out of my way and I didn't want to go past her with my camera so I was a little bit self-conscious. I believe that's what was happening right here and so I was just like pretending to be interested in something and kept looking. Yeah, that was most certainly what I was doing. Like, it's okay, take your time. Take your time. Fix it and forget it, slow cooker. What was this one? Let me see. Celebrate. So much to celebrate. Cornflakes, jello, poke cakes, entomins. crock pot, A to Z word searches, USA word searches, dominoes. Oh, we're going fast by here. Fast, fast, fast. Graphic novels. Oh, there's a. Oh, nope, throw those tins again. You forgot them. You forgot the tins. Get the tins. Get the. You don't listen to anything. Ooh. Saw something. There's Hank over there. Remember the name of the clock? Hank. What are we doing here? Oh, here we go. This is cute. This was a treasury. I love Winnie the Pooh. I do. Had all those books in there. And really, I, I got that. So I'll show that to you more in the hall. What was that Curious George over there? I didn't even see that. See? I wasn't looking. See that Curious George book behind that red? See it? See it? I don't know what it was now. Another thing I missed. Come on, what are we doing? Let's move it along. What the freak am I doing? Oh, this is, look at on the top shelf. That's an uplifting book. We will be crashing shortly. Yeah, that's great. Bring that along on an airplane and just open that up and read that next to the, you know, next to the person next to you. Of course, next to you. Of course, you would be next to the person next to you. Um, and then ask them to hold your book for a minute. We'd be crashing shortly. Oliver Stone experience. Okay, Natalie Grant, finding your voice. What are we looking at here? 
I don't know what I'm looking at. What do I have? Come on, show it the people. Don't keep it to yourself. What do you got there? June, my birthday, month. None of those journals. I didn't see any of them, the storybook ones. I think us talking and talking about them got people to jump over there and get them. Nail decorating kits. Troll kits. That was a portable chalkboard kit. That was the five ninety nine, I think. Let's see. Come on. These um, learning kits. And there's the canvases. So I ended up getting these. No, I got four. Those were 16 by 20. I thought those were going to be too large. So I went with the these. Right? Uh, I think these are 11 by 14. I think so. And there were four of them for $9.99. You could have gotten the bigger ones, three for $9.99. Great price if you have an Ollie's near you. But I did pick up these. Okay, in the cart. Put them in the cart. Put them in the cart. Put them in the cart. In the cart. Oh my gosh. Put them in the cart. She's got to find the perfect one. Okay, in the cart, honey. I don't know what that stuff is on the end. What is that? Shot? What is that stuff? Shot? What is that? I missed that. I don't know what that is. Crayola stuff. Oh, here, there was a lady that worked at Ollie's here. I was like freaking out because she was stocking the shelf. I put the canvases behind my GoPro so she wouldn't see them. But um, I was freaking. I was freaking that she was going to see it and going to be like, we have to confiscate that. You know, you never know. List maker's going to list. That's what that journal was. She was like really cramping my style as I was trying to get video because I just couldn't. I just had to stay here and pretend I was interested in this stuff and I wasn't like extensively um, organizing the pens. Like it was really important. Paper sculpt comes with an X-Acto knife right there. Very safe for children of all ages. No. Silly Scents by Crayola. I think this stuff was, a lot of this was taken. This was an American Girl, Welly Wishers. I think this stuff was all from the Toys R Us closeouts. By the way, what is going on with that Toys R Us? That was a painting canvas cat. I was trying to look at that. I'm like, oh, I don't get that. That's not going to do it. That was a dry erase. I, I actually thought about that. Um, I think that was on like an easel or something. I don't know what that was. I would show it to you, but that lady was making me too nervous. I really thought like they were going to be wrestling with me for my GoPro. Okay, so I was trying to look for some colored pencils, but I couldn't find any really good ones here. Just taking a look. The lady was right in front of me. You'll see her move past me finally. I think I had to put that dry erase board on the side of my GoPro. And yeah, there is. Is there some 
I don't know, I put it somewhere, but there she goes in the red, right? Lots of Crayola stuff. Get that multicolored chalk that you see there, the Crayola multicolored chalk. I did get that. Thought that might be neat. Cool. Thought that might be cool. Those were chalk pencils. I did get two packages of those. So I thought those would be interesting. They say they erase like chalk, but they write like pencils. Thought that might be nice for my little chalkboard that I use during lives or in other things. And maybe if my bathroom cabinets, if I do any chalk, um, you know, like we talked about. So I picked up two packages of those. They were very inexpensive. I think they were a dollar something. I'll show you them in the hall. Oh, canvases again. But I thought they were singles, but no, they're the exact same ones. So there's just lots of canvases. They had different color post-it notes over here. Sketch pads. Tape binders. Little churches. Color pencils again. Binders. Cards. Thank you cards, no cards, no books. This was a pretty good deal. This was a whole thing of gel pens. Another thing I probably should have picked up. It was $5.99 for all of those in there. I believe it was $5.99. Wasn't it $5.99 or was it, was it $12.99? No, it was $5.99 I believe. Maybe it was $12.99. No, I think at the value it was $12.99, they were $5.99, which is a really good deal. So, um, but I didn't get them. These journals were, I think, $2.99 or something. They weren't that big of a deal that I thought. And gel pens. Sharpies, Ultimate Artist, Chalks, Calculators, Red Pens. That's some kind of a wedding um, pen holder. Ultimate Artist. Some ink thing, Shopkins. These were Invisalina. I think these were Spanish packaging for these markers. Paper sculpt. They had really cute dog origami and cat origami. I thought I took pictures that that's 50 gel pens for I don't know what it was. Did you see the price on that? I think the one with the canister now is cute. I should have got those. I um, They had dog origami, cat origami. It was $3.99. It came with a book with all the origami papers. It's really cute. I thought I took a video of it. These were things you put in cupcakes. They were a little large for cupcakes. Uh, my goodness, look at that. Look at the size of those. Look, Sharon, a squishy um, cat pen. Two white cats stacked on top of each other, and it's a pen. So squishy things. Kind of looks like my cat. Okay, so we've got spray art, lots of Crayola stuff, lots and lots of Crayola, Singer, glue guns. If you need those for your project. 
bathtub stuff. Oh, these were scrapbooking things. I couldn't even find a price on those. And then finally, I think I found a price on them, but I wasn't even sure. And by that time, I was just like ridiculously aggravated because they didn't have a price on them. So I just didn't even get them or anything. Not that I'm a big scrapbooker. I'm not. I thought maybe I could use them for something else, but I'm just like, I was aggravated. So I'm like, no way. Okay, bye bye. See you later. Okay, these are Reeves paint by number kits. So they have those. Invites, those are envelopes, party invites. There's more paper sculpt hanging there. Looks like that's something for the circus. Oh, that no, those were circus transfers. Those were cute. Um, if you're good at using transfers, I need someone to show me like where I would use this stuff. These are so cute. These circus transfers. They were really, really cute. Mama Ames. Those are these little masks. Um, almost like a little anonymous masks, but they weren't anonymous ones. They were kind of just all white. And these were some tattoos. I can't even imagine what that was for. But um, yeah, I mean, lots of stuff. Oh, these were little cute little labels. It just said like nice little things that you would put. In, uh, they were little lunchbox notes, or no, just notes you put like you're awesome or something. Something like that. I saw so many things, I can't remember. More Crayola stuff. There's the black canvases. See, um, they're already black. They're um, random guy, but they weren't large enough, right? But those are doing great, huh? Yeah, I forget what price they were. But a good thing for kids, right? I should have got those. I don't know. Keep second guessing myself. There was a big box of colored pencils there. Well, they were more than colored pencils. There were charcoal pencils and there were different kinds of pencils in there. Cards, notes. Oh, these. Wow. These are from Woodstock. You know, we're 20 minutes from the original Woodstock site. And anyway, these were all made up for the 50th anniversary. But wow, these would have been great to pick up and, and sell there if someone wanted to do something. I mean, they could have sold them down to some store, even in the area, whatever. But uh, I think they were $3.99 or so. They had a few different styles of them. And... Pretty cool, pretty cool. More for the Woodstock 50th anniversary. Cards, funny cards. 99 cents, can't be that, right? Hallmark um, note cards. I know, right? So dollar ninety nine, I think. University of Oregon. Okay, guys, this is where my GoPro decided to stop on me, and I didn't realize it. So that's the end of the Ollies. But I have a nice haul for you guys to do later, and I do have a Dollar Tree haul. And I guess I realize now that my GoPro was not recording when I was in Dollar Tree either. I've got to stop being so nervous and be able to check properly. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.